Of course, the possibility of a waning pandemic this year could lead to much less working from home. Woods' tech-focused fund has suffered and suffered big time, and that's where our next guest comes in. He's created a fund to short the arc, and so far it's going pretty well. Joining us right now is the creator of SARC, as in short arc fund, Matt Tuttle. He's the CEO of Tuttle Management. Good morning to you. Um, Matt, let's just start. When did, when did you come up with this idea? So we came up with this idea at the beginning of the summer. Um, and really, at that point, you had, you know, short interest in RK at about $2.7 billion. And, and plus, we knew that the macro environment was likely to be challenging for speculative technology companies. So it just made a lot of sense at that point for us to launch the product. You know, we were talking earlier that, that a lot of folks have made this personal, not just about ARC itself, but about Kathy Woods and her approach. Is this personal for you? No, not at all. I mean, we've got great respect for Kathy Woods. We've got great respect for ARC and, and what they've done. This is purely, they've created a, a whole new sector, really. You know, speculative technology, unprofitable technology, whatever you would want to call it. And there's really no tool out there for investors to you know, express a bearish view on that sector. So that was purely why we did this. Nothing personal at all. Have you talked to her about this? Has anyone, has anyone from ARC contacted you? They, they have not. Uh, I mean, we're going down to an ETF conference in April that she's going to be there. So, you know, maybe, but uh, not as of yet. Let's talk about some of the investments. Just last week, as you know, she doubled down in some ways, maybe quadrupled down uh, on the likes of Robinhood and Tesla. Um, do you look at that from an investor? And I don't, I don't know when you look at your fund, how you think about the investment thesis or not, or your view is just, you know, let the chips fall where they may. But do you look at that and say, this, this is a terrible mistake of an investment? Or do you say, great, we'll just see what happens? So, you know, there's certainly, whenever you are as transparent as they are with their trades, there's always the opportunity to second guess. I mean, we run some actively managed funds and, you know, nobody, uh, you know, typically when you're doubling down on something in a bear market, that tends not to end well. So certainly you can criticize some of those moves. But we're, I mean, we're looking at Sark really more, as a bet against speculative technology, you know, certainly if if they're making some of these bets and they don't turn out, that does benefit the fund. So it, it is something we're keeping an eye on. And, and when you think about the, the success or failure of this fund, again, this goes to sort of, are you just sort of hoping the chips land where they may? Or are you hoping, do you, do you say to yourself, man, I hope she doubles down on this stuff because I think it's going to zero? <laughs> Again, I mean, certainly when they make those trades, if they go wrong, it helps us. Um, but again, you know, we see this really as two main things. Number one, a bet on what's going on in the macro environment. You know, you've got the possibility, you've got, you know, Bank of America saying seven rate increases. You've got Boston right. getting us ready for maybe 50 bips. And regardless of that, to me, this is a better hedge than saying shorting the S&P or the NASDAQ if you've got a negative market view. I'd rather short spec tech than bank. 